guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you and if you like college married student and fashion content that's what I post on here and we are going to be doing a video where I share how to relax after a busy semester which I know everyone else has been out of school for a while but I got out a little bit later because I had summer school. So without further ado, let's jump right on into this video. There is so many better ways to actually rest, not just physically, but also mentally and emotionally. And I feel like it's really important to take advantage of the free time that you have to rest. So I'm going to share five different ways that I do that. Number one is to have an internal checkup with yourself asking yourself how are you really doing how are you really feeling because when i am very busy and just going 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 all the time i really have a hard time identifying how i'm feeling so having like a checkup which doesn't have to be just one day it could be over a multitude of days or even for a whole month just checking in and seeing how you're feeling about life, work, school, Jesus, friends, all of those things. Number two is to do things that are actually good for you, not just things that are temporarily good for you, like working out as much as we don't want to, we probably need to, going to the doctor or the dentist, that's when everyone does that is during the summertime spending time outside very important i haven't really gone outside much today but you should be going outside the summertime is good to actually take care of yourself because i know that we neglect that when we are in the fall winter and spring <laughs> number three is to actually spend time with your friends and i know that kind of sounds dumb but i feel like the trend right now at least what i see on the internet is like the that girl aesthetic if you know what i'm talking about which basically just means that you're like grinding and doing things for yourself that are good for you which is all good but it is a very isolating aesthetic and it really doesn't show a lot about having community or friends or people that will lift you up, which I think is super important. So I definitely want to encourage not to isolate. I know it's been easy with online school, but we have to get out and be social now. Number four, listen to your body and what your body needs. I'm not very good at doing this because again, like I said, I have a hard time identifying how I feel about things, but that goes with the internal checkup that you're gonna do. Don't push yourself past your limits. I've learned to have a little bit more grace for myself rather than always trying to push myself to be more productive, but having a little bit of grace in allowing myself to have slow mornings because that's my favorite and all those good things it's just really good when your body is telling you that you need that <music> lastly number five is to get outside of your surroundings which i know everyone is gonna do this because they're going on vacation but i feel like going on a vacation with the intention of actually doing that little check-in and making sure that you're doing good mentally emotionally and physically is also really good for you and i feel like when you're just at home or in your dorm or wherever you're at and you just stay there it's hard to like reset for the next semester so having some time not in your typical workspace is a good thing, I think, mentally. So 
So the moral of the story is, <laughs> I feel like I've said this a million times, but check in to see how you're doing for real before school goes back into session because I feel like this is something that we neglect, not just young people, but like a society we probably neglect these things. So I think that's super important to prepare for the next semester. So thank you for watching and I hope that these tips actually were helpful and not just like random things that you're not actually gonna use. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because I love to do those for you and I will see you guys next time I post a video. <laughs> Bye guys!